there be flashes or fires? Doggone kill that groundhog early spring my bottom. Cold, snowy, sleety. Jesse's gonna be here any minute and we're supposed to go out prospecting. Well, figure out something else to do. Hey, YouTubers and friends, how you doing out there? Hey, hey, hey. hey I've been <laughs> expecting you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, man? How's it going? Well, I was in the middle of a take for a contest I'll be doing uh, soon. Sorry. <laughs> uh, no worries. Yeah, well, it yeah. is what it is. What about the weather out there? Yes, uh, this, this polar vortex is screwing up global warming, man. <laughs> Uh, yeah, ain't that the uh, way it's all been jumping around and next week's supposed to be in the 70s. Yep. Uh, well, maybe next week. As you know from the drive here, the stream's high, the weather's getting Waters are crummy. muddy, yeah. Snow, rain most of the way here, so that was not fun. Right. So, what do you want to do then? Well, if you don't mind driving a little more in snow and stuff, Billy's home. I was talking to him. Let's go over to Bucket Billy's. Yeah, get our sluice bill for the, the, the dream net. Yeah. That'd be cool. We have some yeah. good ideas. Jesse has some good ideas. You, uh, where's the man at? It's right over there. Ah. Cool. Ooh, it's cold. Yeah. Well. You know what? We should just take it over there. He's kind of expecting us. Right. Right? Take it over there and... Uh, get it made? Get it made. Sounds, Sounds good. good to me. Sounds good to me. All right. Yeah. Where's the box? No, we lost the box. Oh. No, no. That's all right. Yeah, it's okay. We'll get it. Go. Yeah, yeah. Got me good. After you, sir. Age before beauty. Uh -huh.
You know what I'm saying? If you want that cut right level with that, I can do that easy. It would still hang over a little. All right. It, it's up to you. No, I mean, I and mean. I, I can certainly leave it there. All I'm going to have to do is push it down. Shark Billy, like a Billy Shark cat, cat, <laughs> cat, right? Cat, cat. That's cat to cat. Cat to cat. Yeah, baby. Oh man, I love this. This is nice. This is very nice. Man, Bill man, he did a hell did of a job. Great job. This is like a process. Fairly heavy. Well, here, Jesse, let me get the camera. Okay. And we'll talk about it a little bit. Hey, here it is. It's a buck.
Rockabilly Sluice. Well, by Bill Webb today. Uh, and he built this around the the dream mat. Now, Dave Dave had a different method for for uh, uh, securing the mat to the box, but it was a, a a bit more than what we could handle in the short amount of time that we had. So we came up with this box. It's a um, This mat is being held down by this clamp here, this end clamp. Now, after building this, Billy realized that he could have done something a little better, made it look a little cleaner. He's, he's talking about bringing these down to here. And um, cutting out a notch, cutting here, out a notch, so it which bring it right. all down in the top of the latch, flush with the right. rail. So it'll be nice and flush. Now, on this one, we left the tail of the the uh, flare. The flare. <laughs> uh, we've left the, we've left this tail kind of long, just just to see whether it really needs it we can cut it off right here if need be but I don't know that that we need to get a little bit better we'll see how it operates in real life show the underside where okay, the, the underside is. now what you need to see about this is there's a step there because if you know this man at all you know that it's about a half inch thick on the ends there so he built this let me uh he built this so that all we have to do loosen this up and as you saw it allowed this to drop down on this end take this end off take that end off just two and just slide it out yeah slide it in and out boom all the way in put the clamps in secure it down you don't have to worry about the, the mat pulling out. We don't have to worry about any any interference from this. We we have a couple issues that we're going to look at, but the, in order to secure this, we're going to put pressure on it like this. Tighten those Tighten two top, top wing nuts. Wing nuts. And this thing is not coming up. Yeah, I mean, a full grown sure. man can get down here and, and pull it out without a doubt. Yeah. It's not it's not bolted down or anything. But water pressure and and uh, just running it, this mat's not going anywhere. We're going to we're, we're going to uh, make this a tighter fit on the sides with some tape, some duct tape. You know, as uh, because, but this is a bullet. <laughs> Buckabilly exclusive. Yeah, our good friend Bill Webb at Buckabilly Sluicebox.com or actually Buckabilly Sluice.com. If, if you like this sluice box, you can get a hold of. Mr. Webb, tell him what size bat you have, and and he will make this sluice box for you. Uh, if you build your own, pretty simple. You see, it's, there's the bottom. We're probably going to wind up sealing this end. Yeah, uh, we just have to see how she works after our first run with her, which now we taking care of that, and now when the weather permits, hopefully in a week or two. Here it is.
give her to go her through. Give her a polar vortex, get back to our global warming, <laughs> yeah, we, and get out in the stream. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> we were just out a couple weeks ago. Yeah, it was nice. And t-shirts. Yeah, and t-shirts. So, so there it is. I'm going to put you guys back up here. Oops. I'm really happy with it. I think it's. I think it's going to be. I think Bill outdid himself. Yep. I. I'm sure it will work as good as I think she will. You know. The, the, well, you know, the spoof box only does one thing, and that's hold the magnet. But you got to design it right to to work. You know. Right. I mean, you got to get your flare. I mean, it was really fun. I had a good time today watching him build this thing. Oh, yeah, did it right in front of us yeah. the whole time we go. were there. What do you want? What are we looking to do? We had a nice visit, talked about all kinds of things. Why he built it for us, like... Right in front of our eyes. For those who don't know Bill, he's also a Buckeye member, right. uh, OSPA member. Um, he's a friend of ours, um, but he's a fabricator, an Ohio prospector building sluice boxes for the Midwest prospector, and I love mine. I mean, I hope we love this as much as we like ours. Oh well, yeah, his his his. His own design of sluice box is, is like perfect for this type of gold that we have here. It catches yeah. that fine stuff. It, it just works really well. I've always done really good. I use my buckabilly more than my keen. So that tells you something. Not, not, not trying not keen engineering's product, but I do use buckabilly sluice more. But he is local. Yes. Does. Does. Shop, we encourage shop local, support local. Exactly. We encourage that. You know, the the big the big companies. You know that's great. They're big and they got lots of lots of business. But these little guys, the guys that that make up America, you know, the little guys, show them some love by their products. You know, this yeah. guy this guy designed this mat. He hopes it does well. I hope it does well. I hope it catches the gold he says it catches. Yeah. We'll find out. We'll find out, We're David. Gonna, we'll find out. We're going to uh, check for losses. Yeah. I mean, when we go to a, you know, to a place that we don't really know how much gold there is, or whether there's even any gold, we can run this all day long and be happy we caught what we caught. Right. The question is, what did we lose? You know, so you know, part of our testing is going to be the, to check the tailings off of this sluice. Oh, yeah. We'll run them through the gold there. We'll run them through the, the other equipment we have. We'll run it through the gold cube. We got a gold cube. We'll run, up, we'll run it off. See, you know, where, where we're losing it. If we're losing it. I'm hoping we're not losing anything. I hope it catches all of it. Oh, well. <laughs> I, I guess that's my spiel for today. <laughs> it's ready to go. It's birdie. Well, I hope you enjoyed this new episode or new series, Jesse and I. Um, prospecting with Ed and Jesse. Trying out new products. Yeah. The sourdough and the greenhorn. Um, and... I can't wait to get Billy's creation and David's creation out on the stream and put her through some use, Jesse. I hear you, me too. So, this will be really fun to not have to classify it. Yeah. I will want to see both ways. Well, yeah. I'm David, David Peterson claims that you don't have to classify. So we'll do it that way and then we'll see. We have other ideas in mind too. Yeah. And 
uh, go through it, classify it like a lot of the river sluicing people do, and and see about that. And a lot of prospectors believe in classification as the key to gold retention. And no argument. So we'll put her through the arena. <laughs> We'll put it through the spirals. Yeah. <laughs> Get those right, right, right. vortexes. This way, this way, this way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That way, that way, this way, that way. Make you dizzy looking at it too long. Oh yeah, they are different directions, aren't they? Yeah. They would be going different. Well, I know Judy has some pizza going, so want to wrap this up? Yep. Let's wrap this up. Have a slice of pizza. Well. We had a fun day today. Until then, YouTubers and friends, thanks for joining us. May you always have a flash in your pan. You know what he always says. <laughs> Maybe one day, too, you'll see us on the road.